Hello, welcome to another episode on my channel. Today I will show you how UAPath Studio Web works, the browser-based version of UAPath Studio allowing you to quickly create automations without the need to install software on a local machine. It is a great solution for both beginners and those who need to rapidly prototype processes. Thanks to its intuitive interface and built-in templates, users can easily create and test automations without requiring advanced programming skills. In this episode, we will build an automation that retrieves data from a Google Sheets file stored on Google Drive, iterates through its contents and fills out a form on the RPA Challenge website. This is a great example of how UAPath Studio Web can facilitate cloud automation and integration with popular services. To simplify the automation, I have saved the data file on Google Drive. Let's start by creating a new project in UAPath Studio Web. We log in to cloud.uapath.com, go to Studio Web, and then click New Project. We select Manual Automation. In the Project Explorer, we can assign a name to our project. Let's call it, for example, Studio Web Demo. First, let's use the Use Browser action to open the browser with our target site. In Working Scope, we select the website we will use, which is RPA Challenge. To retrieve the data file, we need to use the Google Sheets connector. UEPUB Studio Web has built-in integration with popular cloud services, including Google Drive, Google Sheets and Microsoft 365. First, we need to add a connection to Google Sheets. Go to the Integration Service tab in UAPath Automation Cloud. Select Google Sheets. Add Connection. Log in to your Google account and grant the necessary permissions. After successful connection, we will see our connection mark as connected. Now that we have the connection, we can return to our project in Studio Web. We will use the For Each Row in Spreadsheet activity. We select our data file. And specify the range from which we will read data. Inside the loop, we use the type into activity. Click Indicate Target on screen. Select the field corresponding to first name. If we check the settings, we can see that the target has fuzzy selector enabled. Additionally, an anchor is automatically assigned. 
This ensures that our selector remains reliable. Even if we click the Submit button and the field layout changes, we can be confident that the selector will still work. Confirm the selection. In Type This, we select the Expression Editor and enter Current Row First Name to String. Save the changes. Let's repeat the steps for the remaining columns. After entering all the data, select the click activity and choose the submit button. Don't forget to press the start button at the very beginning of the process. Alright, our automation is ready, so it's time to test it. UiPath Studio Web allows testing processes both in the cloud and on a local machine. By default, the process will run in the UiPath cloud using serverless robots. What does this mean? It means that we don't need to install any software on our computer or configure the environment. UiPath automatically runs our process in the cloud on dynamically allocated resources. This allows us to execute our automation from anywhere while UiPath handles the entire infrastructure in the background. However, we can also test it locally if we have UiPath assistance installed and are logged into the same account. Let's run our automation in the cloud and see how it works. Click Test on Cloud. We observe the automation in live streaming where we can monitor the process execution in real time. As we can see, the process completed successfully. 
A very interesting feature is the ability to run a process designed in Studio Web on our desktop version, where we can expand the automation as needed. Go to our projects and use the Open in Studio Desktop option. As you can see, we have the full workflow in the desktop version, which we can expand as necessary if Studio Web's features are insufficient. Another great feature of Studio Web is Autopilot. When creating a project, we can select the Generate with Autopilot option. Now we can describe what our project should do. Let's enter the following prompt. As we can see, the suggested workflow looks almost same to ours. Confirm with the continue button. The workflow is almost the same. We just need to make a few slight adjustments and within seconds we can have a ready automation that would normally take a few minutes to create. All right. In this episode we explored UAPath Studio Web and learned how to build a simple automation integrating with Google Sheets and processing table data. Studio Web is a great tool for anyone who wants to quick create automations without installing additional software. We also demonstrated how to test processes in the cloud allowing for quick validation without the need for a local configuration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Take care and goodbye!